My name is Darius Dudek. I am the chair of the board Institute of Cardiology Jagiellonian University in Krakow. Today I would like to discuss the issue of multivessel disease in patients with acute myocardial infarction undergoing primary PCI. So it's my pleasure to welcome Mais Behan from the Edinburgh Heart Center, United Kingdom. So my first question will be, why do you think that this multivessel disease for patients undergoing primary PCI is so important topic? Well, studies have told us that in approximately 40 to 60 percent of ST elevation MIs, when they present, there will be, no, be non-culprit uh, lesions. So multivessel disease present in 40 to 60 percent, and those cases tend to have a worse outcome than when it's single vessel disease. If we see so commonly those patients in our CAD labs, what are the recommendations from guidelines? What to do in everyday practice? Well, current guidelines would tell us to treat the culprit vessel, and then we could consider treating the non-culprit vessel as a staged procedure. We could also consider, in selected patients, immediate PCI of all the vessels, of, all the, of both culprit and non-culprit. Yes. So there are a lot of questions. When should we do this stage procedure? What is the optimal timing? So what is the, common, the most common scenario in European and US CAD labs in everyday practice? The most common scenario is to treat the culprit vessel at the time of the index procedure and then to do a staged procedure probably before the, the discharge from hospital, so at the time of, the, of that index admission. So do you think that uh, the final concept, or should we need any more studies to look more carefully and to prove the final answer for that question? I think more studies are needed. More, more data is needed of larger groups of patients before we can answer this question finally. So before we, we have those studies, so what can you not recommend? What should we not do? What kind of lesion we should avoid for the strategy of immediate PCI to taking all lesions during one session with primary PCI? Well, so, so for in immediate PCI of both culprit and non-culprit lesions, I think those should be hemodynamically stable patients and I think that we should avoid patients with very complex non-culprit disease such as maybe uh, complex bifurcations or very calcified disease that might require rotablation. So I hope that you agree that we can conclude that uh, for our patients with multivessel disease, with uh, acute myocardial infarction, undergoing primary PCI, we see certainly the change. We are going from the guidelines which were saying there is a harm in the past to 2B indication that could be considered the immediate PCI. We need more studies to be sure that it's an appropriate strategy, but certainly we see that the time between the primary PCI and the second stage on non culpid lesion is shortened and shortened and probably during the same hospital stay is the appropriate one. I would agree with that, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you.